It's yet another perfect sunny day. A lovely warm morning, half past seven in the morning. And we left Dover not long ago and are passing along the magnificent white cliffs of Dover. We were expecting a little wind today. Uh, we're hoping it will get up later. At the minute we're motoring. Um, but we have a way to go to Shotley, nearly 60 miles. Um, so I'm very much hoping we can get a sail later. There's St Margaret's, very beautiful town. By the look of it, there's some lovely houses overlooking the sea. I'm looking forward to crossing the Thames Estuary. I've done quite a bit of work uh, planning the route. Um, and I've spoken to the expert who wrote the book, Roger. He's been very helpful by email. And we've come up with uh, an easy route, I think, hopefully through the uh, estuary. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that goes. Just um, about to pass Deal now. There's Deal with its little pier. And then in the distance, the land curves round to starboard, to the right, and the white area there, that's the port of Ramsgate. Uh, we'll be passing that, heading more or less north into the Thames Estuary. We've passed Ramsgate, which is just at the uh, end of that chalk cliff there. Uh, we have passed Broadstairs. Uh, there's Paget's Lady, passing Broadstairs still. And then just on the start of the port beam now is North Foreland and North Foreland is important for us because North Foreland is officially the easternmost point of the English Channel so we can now say that having passed Land's End and now passing North Foreland we have completed our navigation of the English Channel. We are 22 days out from Fleetwood and are now due north. Uh, there are some ships at anchor in the Thames Estuary and we are heading across the Thames Estuary. You can't go straight across because there's lots of shallow areas with wind windfarms and so on. Uh, so we've chosen a route um, with, with the help of Pilot Book that will pick our way through all those obstacles across the Thames Estuary and to Shockley in Suffolk, which is near Harwich. Leaving the south coast of England behind us now, and in the Thames Estuary, uh, there's quite a number of anchored ships um, here off the, off the coast. They'll be waiting, awaiting orders, presumably. Um, we checked that they, yes, that they were actually anchored at the coast. In the distance there is the London Away wind farm and we're passing just through the uh, easternmost part of that. So I'll get some footage then uh, if I can over there. There's a lot of shipping in the Thames and uh, this is the Adelina uh, just passing uh, ahead of my bow at the minute. Uh, the great thing about having the AIS system is you know how far ahead a boat is going to pass, or a ship is going to pass, um, and it, it tells you really whether you need to take boarding action on this occasion, which is slow down a little bit, and uh, the other thing is... Uh, Adam, I'm sorry, this is showing Coast Guard, Deborah, uh, we just need her a short while ago, given an ETA of approximately 15 minutes left. I'm going to chat you on the radio at the minute, because there's a bay bay somewhere, and the Coast Guard's going to pass. We're now entering the London Array Wind Farm, at one point the largest in the world. It was surpassed in 2018 by the Walney Extension, which is up near our home port of Fleetwood. But there are some even larger ones now. There's the red and white safe water boy with the towards uh, and there are two more that will take us safely through the wind farm and out the other side.
So we're nearly through the uh, London Array now and a bit more wind, eight knots. So we have shut down our engines and at last we are sailing, which is lovely. Nice to be in peace and quiet. That's the substation and uh, looking back We are on our final approach to Harwich now. Uh, the wind has gone up nicely and we are sailing at over six knots. It's a, it's a fantastic uh, fast sail and wonderful warm conditions. This, the wind is warm, uh, the sun is shining very hotly. Uh, there's Mike uh, on, a, on a very fast reach over there in Paget's Lady. And there's the, the coast. Just under the sail here, um, you can maybe be able to see in the distance the um, cranes at the port of Felixstowe. Uh, I think that's our biggest uh, container port. Very busy, and there are ships coming and going, but there is a yacht channel uh, which keeps us well out of the way of the big ships. I'm looking forward to meeting my friend Martin, who is uh, already at Shotley waiting for us. Uh, we're about probably two hours out now. Might be a bit less given that we're going so well. Note the colour of the sea. We've been used to crystal clear blue sea on the south coast. But this is now brown and I think it uh, looks even more salty than the Fleetwood um, brown water. So that's not quite such a joy as the south coast. Um, nevertheless, it's great so we're really enjoying it forward to getting into Shotley and then planning our trip for tomorrow. Entering Felixstowe now. Um, might be difficult to hear because of the wind, so I won't talk too much. Great big ships over there. This is Britain's biggest container port. We're still sailing for a fantastic sail for about four hours now. And we're entering the river here. We're supposed to keep outside of the shipping channel because we're a small yacht. Uh, so the small yacht channel is to the uh, port of the Port Hand Boys. So we to sail the wrong side of them. That's the uh, instruction here. Um, and then we're going to go up the river a little bit to Shotley. More cranes straight ahead. Harridge on the left bank and Felixstowe docks on the right bank.